This is the fourth in a series of videos on how to centralize and automate your IT service experience through AtBot. If you haven't watched the other videos, you might want to. You can find a direct link to the playlist in the description below. In this video, we're going to build on our Lewis app from the last video. Sometimes people say ambiguous things, and AtBot should be able to deal with that if we want a natural interaction with a bot. We're going to cover how to get this simple improvement up and running. The prereqs for this video are the same as the last ones, except you'll want to have an existing Lewis app running for creating, updating, and closing a ticket. So if you haven't done that yet, watch the last video and get that set up. So you'll likely remember this graphic from the last video where we talk about how Lewis helps interpret user intent to point at bot to the right skills. But let's face it, users can sometimes be unclear. And if you work in the IT field, you know that's putting it nicely. If a user only inputs ticket or problem, AtBot doesn't know what to do with that. It's not specific enough. And we lose the connection to our skills. The chain is broken. So how do we make sure AtBot can react robustly if he gets a not so obvious request? It's actually not hard. We just need to create a catch-all of terms that are related to our topic, IT tickets, that aren't specific in what should be done with them. Then we have AtBot ask what to do. To make this work, we're gonna need a new skill. First, we're gonna use Lewis to identify ambiguous IT ticket related terms. And once AtBot knows the user is asking about IT tickets, they'll respond with a clarifying question. The user will clarify, then the correct skill will be kicked off. This process is actually a sort of backdoor way to get the user to say things that match our utterances. The skills in Lewis intents from the safety net aren't really connected to anything else. They're just boomeranging the user back to what they should have done in the first place. So let's jump right back into Lewis and I'm going to create a new intent. I'm gonna call this clarify ticket. And I've already created a list of utterances. The utterances are really just words like ticket, incident, service now, problem, trouble ticket, IT problem, things like that. They don't have any sort of verb or action or hey, go do this associated with them. They just reference that noun, that, that existence of a ticket. So I'm gonna add all of these things to my, my new intent. So I just trained my intent. And you can see now the scores actually show pretty clearly that if you see just those words or those phrases, it'll only go to this intent. Publish my app. Jumping in to grab my authoring key, just like we did in the last video. I'm gonna bring that over to flow and I'm actually going to create a brand new flow from blank. This is a, a very easy two-step flow. It's basically just asking the user for more information. So I'm gonna call this clarify service now ticket intent. I'm going to bring up an at bot trigger when an intent is used and this is going to connect directly to my Lewis intent for clarification. I'm gonna paste my API key and from there I get the choice of which app I want to use. I'm going to use my IT service desk app and I'm going to choose my new clarify ticket intent. And then I'm just going to add a send reply step, that's it. AtBot's going to acknowledge the user said something about an IT ticket and ask the user for clarification. And what you're gonna see in this step is we're actually using a double colon syntax around the phrase that we want to have make a choice. So we'll actually pop up buttons when AtBot responds back. So you'll see here, would you like to colon colon open a ticket, colon colon, comma, colon colon update a ticket, colon colon, comma, or colon colon close a ticket, colon colon question mark. So the double colon syntax will create boxes or clickable buttons in Teams. And reply activity always gets reply activity. So I'm gonna create that flow. And I'm gonna jump into the AtBot Admin Center. We need to make sure that this skill is available through Ask IT because I want this to be in our centralized IT help a bot. You'll notice that you do see Clarify Ticket. I'm going to edit this so that this skill is listed under IT services and it is available through Ask IT. Okay, so I'm going to go over to Microsoft Teams now and I'm going to test out this new Lewis Intent and Flow. So you'll see that I already requested a new ticket. I have a ticket open and it is for a SharePoint site that I want for my team. So I'm gonna need my ticket number moving forward. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna be a bad user right now. I'm gonna say just something really ambiguous like just tickets. I actually wanna update my ticket so that I can change the urgency because this is a high priority request, but I'm not gonna get that response yet because Ask IT doesn't really know what I'm saying, which is exactly what we want Lewis and the flow to do. So you'll see the three buttons pop up here. I have my three options because these are the three skills that we have already done. Now, 
I mentioned earlier that the double colon syntax gives you these buttons. That's actually an AdBot specific thing. So we make it really easy for you to provide options for people to specifically click as opposed to typing in or guessing on what those keywords would be. So I'm gonna say update ticket. And Ask IT is now kicking off the update ticket flow. So I'm going to say, here is my ticket number. And Ask IT is gonna come back to me and say, all right, do you wanna update the impact or urgency? And I'm gonna say urgency, and I'm gonna make this a high priority ticket. And Ask IT will get back to me and say, cool, I've updated that for you. And if I jump over here to look at service now, if I refresh, the most recent ticket should be that one. And if I open this up, you'll see that the priority is three, but the urgency is high and the impact is low. And here's that SharePoint site that I requested. And now we've made Ask IT that much more robust and able to respond to the eh, more frustrating parts of communication. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more great AtBot, Flow, and Lewis information. And feel free to comment if you have questions. In our next video, we'll cover how to add a question and answer tool to AtBot so not only can he kick off business processes, but also provide useful guidance that your IT team would otherwise help with. Thanks for watching.